If you're looking for a way to take a photo and turn it into a pencil sketch without actually sketching it, because if you're like me, you can't even draw a stick man. I, trust me, they don't even look like stick men. What the? Then in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do it in Canva. Let's hop on the computer. Okay, so we're in Canva. Now I have a Canva Pro account. I think it's like 120, 130 a year. To me, it pays for itself over and over again. You can use the free account. There's a link below. If you've never used Canva, you gotta check it out. So here's how I do it. I go up here to create a design and logo. I, I just choose logo. You can always change the size of this later. Now, what I'm gonna do is upload here and you can already see I've been playing with this, but I'm gonna use this shot right here. Don't need that anymore. Now, what I do is remove background, which I think the background remover, look at that, look how crazy fast that is. I, I love it in Canva. You wanna make sure when you do an effect, you always hit apply. Now, I just kinda always bring in the sides. That's, that's a preference thing. I'm gonna make it a little bigger just so you can see it easier. Now, here's where the magic goes. You wanna go all the way down here, and these are actually effects you can load in. They're free, they come with Canva, which is again, pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna look at Trippy, and we want Trace. Click that. Now this is very important. If I hit apply, this is what you're gonna get, which is kinda of cool, but you see these little controls right here? That's what I want. We're gonna bring the RGB shift down so it kind of aligns it up and we're gonna bring colorize down so it's no color. This is as close to black and white as you can get. Now, the brightness, this is something you can control. This is a preference thing. So for now, I'm gonna leave it about like right there. And just like remove background, make sure you hit apply. And it's gonna do its thing. You don't have to hit apply again. It's just, it's the system. Now, we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna edit the image. You can do here, you can do here. I just click this. And we're gonna do a couple of things. So we're gonna bring blur all the way down. And you notice how that immediately just made it look more kind of like a pencil, like a sketch. And you can bring saturation down. Now you could say, well, it's already black and white, but yeah. Now you can do other things in here. You can play with shadows and stuff. So like if you wanted to give a little bit more darkness, that's kind of a preference thing. But right now, I think that looks pretty cool. So all of a sudden we've taken a photo and made it look like a sketch. Now, to export, and you can go up here and name it something, so we'll just name it uh, Me Sketch. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? You hit Share, and you have these options, Download. I always, always recommend PNG. It's just a better file. They even say suggested you have other options. And why not just go ahead and bump it up? Now, it maxes out to 1500. I think you could probably get around a thousand and you download it and it'll download to wherever you want to download it to. Now that's just one of the many cool things you can do in Canva and it is by far hands down my go-to graphics app and I highly recommend it for anybody, doesn't matter beginner, pro, whatever. So if you want to check it out, hit the link down in the description. There is a free version of it. You can do a lot with that. I think the pro you can do a lot more. Now. Let's say you wanna do something else like animate some text, which I've done a lot. Check out the video coming up next. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, have a great today.